we've been fortunate to have the wolf morselator here since approximately 2014, I would imagine. I was a second year resident in my training when I first uh, was exposed to the wolf um, piranha system. I have had experience with other morselators that preceded the wolf. And I've even participated in a study where we trialed additional morselators. I would say at this point, still today, the standard, um, uh, gold standard for morselation systems is the Piranha system. I think it is widely used uh, both in the United States and globally. Um, the, the benefits of this system is the efficiency of uh, morselation. I would imagine that in a um, competent surgeon that has had experience with this and is used to the, the setup, you can expect morselation rates somewhere between 10 to 20 grams a minute, depending on the tissue and the size of the prostate. When you enucleate and morselate with this um, type of efficiency, you can expect to have excellent uh, patient outcomes in the immediate post-operative setting because you're going to minimize the exposure to anesthesia. You're going to improve the hemostasis potential, and then you're able to consider same-day catheter removal. This, I think, is a, in addition to uh, many other features with Holup, the component that is pushing Holup into the gold standard for BPH surgeries, um, as its long-term potential for success has already been documented through many papers, but in the short term now, when you can consider any size prostate undergoing a procedure that ranges from approximately an hour to three hours with the potential to have a catheter removal and avoid trial on the same day. Um, this is really a phenomenal achievement, which has both been fueled by advances in laser technology, but has been stabilized by having a robust morselation system for the last 10 years. Richard Wolf. Spirit of Excellence.